Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suts and Bees. In today's video, we will be making cashmere face mask, which is a beautiful face mask made of clays and humectants. I've come across many clay face masks that will suck up the moisture of your face, leaving it really tight and dehydrated. While it may feel really nice as soon as you remove the face mask, clean my pores, but do not hydrate my skin at all. So in this formula, I'm using clays that are great for sensitive skin, and I'm also using numerous humectants. We will be making a water face and a powder face, and then we will combine both faces to make this beautiful clay mask. So let's review the ingredients in the formula. To this formula, I have added rose hydrosol, which soothes the skin, redness, and irritation. It has anti-aging properties and can be used to send cosmetics without irritating the skin. 1% aloe vera solution, which improves the appearance of aging and dry skin. Skin feels more resilient and supple. Propandyl 1-3. It can be a substitute for vegetable glycerin. In this formula, when combining it with glycerin, propanadol will reduce the tackiness of glycerin while offering benefits of increased levels of hydration. It acts as a humectant and emollient. Skin penetration enhancer and solvent boosts the effectiveness of preservatives and improves the skin moisture. Vegetable glycerin, it attracts and locks moisture into the skin, cleanses the skin without clogging pores, protects the skin from destructive bacteria, regulates oil production, soothes itching and dryness, maintains elasticity of the skin, and contributes to sun protective properties to guard against the harmful effects of overexposure to UV radiation. White tea extract, a powerful antioxidant, has anti-aging and skin soothing properties. Now for the powder face, we will be adding rose clay and kaolin clay. Both of these clays are a mild cleanser and great for sensitive skin, even as sensitive as a baby skin. It detoxes and clears pores, absorbs excess oil but does not dry out the skin. Skin soother, making it perfect for calming the skin that is inflamed and irritated. And one of my favorites is ground oats. It's an antioxidant. It has anti-inflammatory properties, which help to treat dry skin and remove dead skin cells. It contains compounds called saponins, which are natural cleansers. It removes the dirt and oil that clogs pores and it exfoliates the skin. Ground chamomile has anti-inflammatory properties which help to treat dry skin and remove dead skin cells. Ground calendula flowers. It's anti-inflammatory, also antiseptic and antibacterial to complement that nice rose hydrosol. Ground rose petals have anti-inflammatory properties and oil found in roses can help reduce swollen spots and redness on the skin. Helps soothe rosacea and eczema. So come on, let's go make it. Okay, for our liquid phase of the formula, I will start with 70 grams of distilled water. Thirty grams of rose hydrosol. Forty grams of aloe vera solution. Two grams of vegetable glycerin. Ten grams of propanadil 1-3. Okay, I will go ahead and put this in a double boiler just to make sure that the glycerin uh, incorporates with the rest of the liquids. I am not going to heat it up too much. Um, as soon as the glycerin um, starts incorporating, I will remove it from the double boiler. Okay, the glycerin has been incorporated. Um, I literally had it there for probably a minute and a half. So we are at 86 degrees, so it's safe to put in our cool down ingredients. Okay, and here I have six grams of white tea extract and one gram of liquid germo plus, which is our preservative. Um, I like to put my preservative in a separate uh, container before putting it into the main formula, just in case I pour too much. Now I gave it this nice pretty yellow due to the white tea extract. So I will cover my beaker, meanwhile we mixed the powder face. For my powder face, I will be putting all my ingredients in my coffee grinder. Remember, if you're using a coffee grinder for your DIYs, do not use this in the kitchen. Uh, make sure it's only allocated for your DIYs. So we're going to start off with 20 grams of kaolin clay.
10 grams of French rose clay. four grams of ground oats, two grams of rosebuds, two grams of dried chamomile, two grams of dried calendula flowers. Now I'm going to cover my coffee grinder with saran wrap so all the mixture doesn't get all over the place. Um, I learned this from Maria at Humble B and Me and it's, it's been a lifesaver. Okay, so I'm going to let the dust settle for a while, so I'll leave it here uh, probably for about an hour or so. I need to head to the supermarket, so we'll resume when I get back. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back. It's been about four hours. Um, left and came back. I had to go run some errands. And I did put a napkin down here because this project is pretty messy. Okay, so I have my liquid solution. Oh, it smells amazing. Like that water, that rose hydrosol. So what I want to do is I'm going to start uh, scooping out my powder little by little. We'll start incorporating it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, put in my little mini whisker in there and whisk it a little bit. Normally I, I would use my overhead stirrer but uh, I wanted to show you guys how to do it with a mini whisker. If you don't have one of these, you can just do it with a whisk by hand. It's just a lot harder. I am making this one for one of my very close friends who uh, has moved to Florida so I'm going to be shipping it. So this is why I incorporated everything and just uh, put the formula all together so I can put it in a squeezy bottle for him. Uh, if I were to be using this for myself at home, I would combine the liquids and the powders uh, at the time um, that I'm going to use it. But this makes it a lot easier for him uh, to use. And there we have it. It smells and it looks really nice. Um, I will be packaging it in a four ounce uh, squeezy bottle with a disc top. Uh, I have made some for myself which have lasted about three months uh, because I use it once a week. Uh, and I've never had my desktop clog with the product but if he ever does just you know take it out rinse it out spray some alcohol to the you know disinfect it and then put it back in or you can just pour it like this but I've never had a problem with it so I will be pouring it directly into the bottle wish me luck So I just have a little tiny bit left that I can use, maybe one or two masks, probably one mask. There we have it. We just made some cashmere face mask. Thank you for watching. See you next time.